สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to our online class. Grade three. This lesson is for you. Changes in materials due to heat. This lesson is from your student textbook, page thirty-nine to forty-two. There are several factors or several processes that changes the appearance of materials. One factor that change materials appearance is what we call heat. Heat changes the physical appearance of materials. And there are several ways to apply heat in materials. For example, melting, boiling, cooking, grilling, frying. Those processes need heat to change the appearance, the content, the structure of A material. Now let's take a look. How do these processes use heat to change the appearance of a material? Let's start with melting. Melting is the process wherein solid materials melt to liquid. For example, ice cubes. Ice cubes are solid. However, if they are exposed to warm temperature, they will start to melt. So we say. The ice cubes are melting. Another example of melting, which is very familiar to children like you, is the melting popsicle. Popsicles are solid ice. However, if they are exposed to temperature, uh, warm enough, popsicles will melt. So we say the popsicles are melting. Another material that change through melting is chocolate. Chocolates, when exposed to warm or hot temperature, chocolates melt. So we say the chocolate bar is melting. Now let's study boiling. Boiling is the action of bringing a liquid to the temperature at which it bubbles and turns to vapor. The very famous boiling water. The heat is from the burner. The water absorbs the heat from the burner, and we say the water is boiling. When the water uh, reach the boiling point, which is one hundred degrees 
Celsius, it will boil. So we say the water is boiling. For example, you and your family are out for camping. So you boil water using fire. So the heat comes from the burning firewood absorbed by the pot and the water inside the pot boils. So we say the water is boiling. Now it's time to take a look at what is burning? Burning is to undergo a rapid combustion in such a way as to give off heat, gases, light, and fire. Let's use the same picture for example. The firewoods are burning. Okay. Say it again. The firewoods are burning. That is how heat changes the firewood through burning. The rubbishes are burning. Or we can say it is burning. Or, the papers are burning. So, from a white, soft paper, it turns into ashes. The appearance changes because of heat. Cooking is another process where in heat is used to change the appearance of several materials. Cooking means applying heat to food, whether the food is baked, fried, boiled, sautéed, or grilled. Look, he has baked the breads. So he uses heat to bake the bread. Let's say you are frying an egg. Observe how do the egg changes its appearance after heat is applied. The first thing is you crack the egg and then you put it in the pan. Observe that the egg, especially the egg white, is not solid. The color is uh, watery. It's colorless. No? And the appearance is slimy. It's not solid. So the egg is in the pan. Look, observe the color of the egg white, particularly the egg, egg white. It's colorless, no color. It's, it looks like a slimy water. When you start applying heat under the pan, the egg white will slowly or gently change its color from a colorless, it turned to be white. And from a slimy, watery egg white, it turns 
solid egg white. That is how heat changes the appearance of egg when it is cooked. Now, let's compare cooked egg from uncooked egg. See the difference? First, the egg white transparent if it is uncooked. If it is cooked, it turned white. And it's slimy if it is uncooked. However, if it is cooked, it turns solid. So that is how heat changes materials. Another example. Hmm? The bread. Let's say you're toasting a bread. As you can see, the bread is soft and white. However, if you toast it, if you use heat to toast it, it turns brown and crispy. Look. You see how heat changes the appearance and the structure of the bread? So we say, slices of bread were toasted. From a white soft bread to toasted brown crispy bread. Another example, look. How he turns the color white to brown. A soft white bread turns brown and crispy when toasted. Here is another way of toasting a bread. When pieces of bread are toasted, they turn brown and crispy. Look. Oh, be careful. It's hot. Another example of grilling is to grill a fish. Look how heat changes the color and the appearance of the fish. No, from a colorless fish to brown, crispy skin of grilled fish. So we say, when fish are grilled, their skin turn brown and taste yummy. Look at the patty and the chicken breast and of course the sausages. No? How he changes the color of those materials. Okay, grilled pork chops turn brown crispy and taste delicious after applying heat. And the most famous barbecue in Thailand. Look how he changes the appearance of barbecues. So we say, barbecues turn brown, smell good, and taste yummy after applying heat on them. How about the fries? Observe the color and the texture of slices potatoes, sliced potatoes when it is fried. 
Okay, potato fries turn golden when fried. And it tastes yummy, no? Another example. Look how the color changes. Hmm? Slices of meat turn brown when fried. That is what we mean by applying heat to food. Whether the food is baked, fried, boiled, sautéed, or grilled. Now it's your turn to answer your assignment. Put out your workbook, open it on page 28 to 29. Answer the pages, exercises. You did an amazing job today, so I will give you two thumbs up and five stars. Isn't that amazing? I hope you learned something from me today. Thank you for attending my class. This is Norbel Quatris saying, Kapunka, Sawadika.